Hey Rob, I'm Sharon from London. Hello. Hiya. Um, so a truck can be mortal, which means he's going to die. Okay. So he'll either go to heaven, hell or be empty. Yeah. If he goes to hell, how will Rowena treat him? Uh-huh. I feel like she'll be there. Well, that's fun. I think she'll be nice to him. Maybe she'll make him her pet. I'd wear a collar for that woman. I think she'd have me, yeah, like maybe on a chain. I'm good with that. I mean, if you want to be someone's teacher's pet, it's the queen of hell. Um, so yeah, I think if I go to hell, which is, I didn't realize until this moment that I, I, that's where I might be going. And in real life too, because God, if there is one, um, might be like, yeah, not a fan. <laughs> down, send him down. Um, but I know that Ruth Connell won't be in hell, so that would, the real life of hell would be miserable for me. But, um, but the supernatural hell would be pretty awesome. Just partying with Ruth, but it would be on a chain, and that'd be okay. She'd take me for walks, and I could pee on the neighbor's bushes. Because it's hell. You can't poop on Richard's yard. She did mention earlier that it would be full of chocolate and champagne, so... Oh, fuck yeah! I'm so there for that. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. Um, yeah. But she's definitely having me on a chain. I probably wouldn't be able to have the chocolate and champagne. She wouldn't let me have that, because it's hell. There's gotta be some part of it that's, like, not cool. Um, yeah, I just hope I can, like, you know, have clothes on. Because if you're on a chain and the collar and everything, that would be degrading, you know? Like, let me just wear clothes, it's the least. But, um, yeah, so that could be okay. You made it sound a little better, I'm glad she's gonna be there. I feel really lonely as Chuck right now, so, yeah, I mean, that's something to look forward to. Okay. Hey. Oh, wow, look at this side now. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's what I'm talking Ooh. about. Hi, bonjour. Hi, uh, um, I asked Rob this question. Uh, basically, when Chuck goes to hell, because he'll go to hell, won't he? Because he's bound to How do we not treat him in hell? It's so funny because he already told me how he answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that he would wear a collar for me, for that woman, he said. I would wear a collar for that woman. And I was like, how about you just be really sweet to me? <laughs> All the time. He said, you'll have him on a leash. That's it, a leash. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, but that's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, I'm just yes and like his suggestion. It's like, yeah. What's definitely another thing? Ooh, about hey. what? About, uh, live yeah, and let live is what I say. Yeah. Well, I stay out of, you know, uh, men and women fights, so. How so. do you treat Chuck if you went to hell? Who? And you were ruling. Me? Yeah. I'd sew his mouth shut and <laughs> steal all his juice and shoot it up, just like I do all the angels and the gods and everything. As hey. Matthias says, Matthias. As Matthias says, Matthias says, Matthias. As Matthias. I love that you still have that on you. I'm going to it off. Thank you for your question. Hi. Hi, Misha. I'm Sharon from London. Hi there. Hi, yeah. Um, so, just before the, your last episode aired, you've asked people to film themselves. Um, oh, yes. To get their reactions. Why? <laughs> and did you watch any? Uh, yes. Uh, and I was trying to get people to watch the last episode. <laughs> so, it was like a, a marketing ploy, really. Um, and then... And then I saw some of the videos that people made of them not being happy. And then I felt bad about that. So I think it was one of, it all fell into the category of ill-conceived uh, requests. Yeah. A bit, like, a bit like some of your gish requests. Some what? A bit oh, like gish? some of the gish requests. Yes, like yes. <laughs> well, no, I think gish is, well, yes, sure. <laughs> Um, I often uh, write items for Gish and then later realize, oh, that was terrible. Um, like, one of the items I wrote a few years ago was to get a tattoo of the, of the Pope. 
Um, I'm sure several of you have that tattoo. I'm sorry. But um, some things are harder to take back than others. Thank you. Thank you. I just, I just did a video game. Oh, what video game? And I had to sign a non-disclosure. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't. Anyway, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, like, I'm one of a lot of voices in it. But it's really good. It's going to be like an Xbox and everything. So that's cool. You'll have to tell us when it comes out, when it is. I will, I will. I really, I probably, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't say anything else. No, I mean, it's, it's so hard not to say things when you're alone. And it's not even like, it's that wild, it's just things that I think are funny. Like, there's something to do with tea in it. That was okay, shh. I get fired. Even though I stop working, they'll be okay. Hi, yeah, I'm Sharon from London. I think she sort of stole my question about you being in the recording studio. She stole your question. Ask it anyway, ask it anyway. I, can ask well, I was about to ask, uh, what were you in the recording studio for oh, on Instagram? Was that for the um, Xbox thing? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't, I think it's on a different, lot of different platforms. That's just the yeah. brand name that my brain, not yeah. knowing very much about the video game world. Are you, who's all into video games? <laughs> yeah, Felicia's amazing. When I do a panel with Felicia, I'm just like, she knows so much. Have you seen Felicia's Twitch stream? No, I've been on one, but I've not seen it. Is it good? Yeah. Um, she's awesome. She's doing lots of stuff, right, with Shadows people and what we're doing with Shadows people. And, yeah. Does that mean, does anybody like that? Yes. I met them at Comic and I fangirled and I was like, do you mind if I get a picture? I blamed it on the fact that I needed to show someone else about it, it was because I wanted it. Well, since you still have a question, I was wondering, how hard is it to film when you're in those lovely heels? Say that again. How hard is it to film when you're walking in those lovely heels of yours? How does it feel? How, how hard is it? Oh, these are easy. Yeah. To film. Oh, to film? Yeah, to film. Okay, so sometimes hysterically difficult. Um, the finale, well, not the finale, it wasn't supposed to be, but it ended up being, you know when I walked down the stairs as the Queen of Hell, um, they had me in really spiky platform heels, as they do, just to try and bring me even a couple of inches closer to Jared's face. <laughs> and um, the floor was made of really thick polystyrene. Clearly no women had been involved designing the floor journey and so I was doing the whole thing without putting any weight on my heels so I basically did the whole thing on the tips of my toes and because I was a dancer I can it wasn't fucking easy excuse my French so yeah sometimes it's dangerous these these are flat to me I mean they're only like what four or five inches it's practically flat I can run in these do you like them they're sparkly I wore them because I was coming here these, these are my Justin Bello sparkly shoes New dress and panda head. <laughs> I thought it would all go really well as well. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, hello. Okay, let's get some questions. How about over here? Hi. Hi, Dad. I'm Sean from London. Hi. Hi. I want to first of all congratulations, uh, congratulate you on your nomination for the Saturn Award. So, uh, Anthony, uh, Anthony Starr, who plays Hong Man here on, on the boys, he texted me. He was like, hey, Congratulations on your Saturn Award. And I I had like just heard maybe 20 minutes before he texted me that. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. That's great. <laughs> he was nominated, too. <laughs> and so I felt like a total dick. Because it wasn't until like the next day I was like, by the way, my bad. And he laughed. And he's like, yeah, whatever, asshole. <laughs> So, so my question is, if you could have a diabolical episode about Soldier Boy, what would it be about? A diabolical episode about Soldier Boy? Yes. I'll tell you one thing. If I could do, uh, if I had my wish about the story uh, of Soldier Boy, it would be a a story that was back in time. It would be like the I I, I would want to see like what he was like in his. Homelander Prime, uh, which I guess would be like the fifties, fifties or forties, fifties, sixties, like that, like that era. Um, I think that would be really interesting. 
it'd be it'd be uh, <laughs> it'd be the boys mad men combined <laughs> which whoa uh, yeah so I, I, I think it would be in, in like what I would want to see is what that that time period looked like for him well that's another time he had a family two orgasm as well <laughs> exactly. <laughs> With liberty. Ooh. Oh yeah, lot to unpack there. Lot to unpack. But yeah, I, I, that'd be cool. Thank you. Thank you.